you look at these two green lines here, sort of side by side, just move that a little bit further away, it's just a fair position. There you go, okay? So both these green lines kind of represent where your right hip and your right leg are, okay? Yeah. Previously, when you went back, we had a bit of slide there through that position. You can see your right leg now moving through that green line, yeah. and you swayed off the golf ball. Your right foot's rolling, the knee's rolling gone up. through it, yeah. and you're a long way behind the golf ball now. To get back to that golf ball is going to require a big lunge, basically, with your right arm and shoulder yeah. to try and sort of bring him back to the golf ball. And that's going to generally encourage that sort of type of spin on the golf yeah. ball because you're lunging over the top. What we've got to try and do is move the hips over. The hips as you swing the golf club are going to move away from that green line but only move away when they need to move. So there's yeah. a really, that's a really good movement, okay? As we start then going back, the gap then is gonna increase slightly, okay? So we start off there, as you go back, the hips go back. Now, if we do it too quickly, some of the swings you were making, your hips from when the club was here, your hips were kind of there already. So as you're yeah. pointing here, you'd have the arms sort of down, down here with, with the club, yeah. and that's just too quick. Yeah. So then as your shoulders keep turning, the hips are gonna keep following in that rotation, and then you're going to be so far around up the way you've got no chance okay if we just look at that there and that there for example look at the right foot leaning over on the, on the side of the foot there you've lost stability there the foot's upon its toe the knees have come across that there's a much more stable position and the hips gone back behind you you see so you've rotated your hips better and you've moved less you see there's less of your pocket on the back yeah. there you can see your belt buckle clearly yeah, yeah. okay all these different movements and it feels to you really strange yeah you've actually moved your hips by about that much less yeah. and just rotated them rather than slid stuff yeah, okay moved. but once you're in that position at the top of the back where you've got to here now at the top from here we can unwind the body the sensation you want to have is that your back is staying to target for as long as it can so from here you're letting the arm back is your back is pointing to the target there as long as, possible. as long as possible. Your arms kind of just drop down across your chest. So your left arm sort of coming down across the chest there, keeping the back the target. If your right shoulder goes forward and you spin the body too quick, which often comes from people, they go, oh, you must get power from your body. Twist your body, That's twist your body. That's what I've always, it yeah. comes from the twisting more than the... Yeah, the more, you, the, the 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 more you twist your body in some way, the slower the arms are going to come. Think of it in terms of if you had a bit of a cotton thread in, with a bit of weight on the end and you're doing that with your hand nice and slowly okay that bit of thread would be sort of spinning around your hand like a sort of helicopter blade wouldn't it real sort of yeah and you sort of did that with your hand <laughs> it would just completely collapse wouldn't it so we're trying to spin the body smoothly the club's got to travel a lot further after all okay yeah. so that club's got to work a lot quicker back down to the golf ball yeah. if the body lunges at it to try and get power we're not going to lost lower lost. half can speed up the way but if you try and get speed with the shoulders and the top half and you sort of throw that right shoulder at the ball you're over the top the club head will slow down so you'll generally get a weaker slice i suppose yeah because if you're just moving the body then yeah. you, the, the club's, club's going to be exactly, clear by yeah. the time you swing exactly. your arms down because your shoulders are only going to go from there to there well the club's got to go all the way around there yeah think of two cars on the roundabout one the inside lane one the outside lane you can go around the same time the yeah. outside one's got to get a level up faster yeah. so it's club head speed we've got to try and create it's going to come from the hand action and then the arm speed rather than the from big the lunge arm, in the shoulder the yeah the keep the back to target for the long the sensation will be as you're in golf balls yeah. that you're back here so and letting the arm just drop this won't happen it's impossible really to do this as you do this you'll automatically just start doing that anyway so you'll come into this sort of position we see all the magazines and the pictures on tv yeah. okay if we do that motion yeah. where's that club is that yeah. left behind all day yeah, yeah. and the club just can't square up and the harder we hit it because you're swinging Long more the side, you know. with the shoulders the harder you hit it the more you hit it with the shoulders yeah. which means the slower the club's going to come down the further right's going to aim where it's going to be yeah and then to try the ball further left you try and shove your shoulder to swing it left le increasing yeah, the yeah, movement yeah. even more so you see yeah. so yeah get that hip rotating but only rotate when it needs to rotate okay it's not right hip goes back to the way boom okay yeah. the hip it's only needs to move as it requires yeah passing. exactly it only needs to move as it as required to help the rotation it's a better move not more move basically yeah. okay and then from as you said the lower half can stay behind you get a nice good full swish the target regards your left foot your right foot your left foot and so your left foot's going to spin out a little bit that's actually fine oh, yeah i can't that's fine broke yeah, that's, so fine. Can't. that's actually fine I yeah i mean do speed that, does that so there's nothing wrong with that at all so don't worry about it at all okay make sense it does yeah good stuff bit doesn't of feel comfortable <laughs> it generally well, anytime you're making a change it'll feel strange yeah, yeah. i think sometimes when you make certain changes especially like bunker shots for example wow. if you're really struggling at something anything's going to be feeling better yeah, 
yeah, and yeah. the results will be there for you. This is a longer club, obviously. Yeah. The balls in the F are longer. There's a lot more that can potentially go wrong. Yeah. And your expectation yeah. is to get the ball 200 yards in the yeah. fairway. Yeah. With a bunker yeah. shot, it would just get out. Just get out. Which is yeah, easy to do, bad. obviously. So your yeah, expectations yeah. will be different, okay? It will feel a bit strange, but no yeah. doubt. But again, a little bit of practice with it's, that hip. It's, yeah, the, getting that out, because of always thought it's in the twisters you come in yeah, around the more you the more if, you, if, you, if i was to sort of do this and go he's yeah, left behind so okay i can get a lot i can get almost around. as much club edge speed which my arms fishing through and i can from the hips are going to work don't get me wrong but at the same time if you increase your hip turn and that was too much you lose club edge speed so okay make sense yes